at WFC 17, we shall see middleweight title fight up to 84 kilos. MMA rules, three rounds up to five minutes. The sponsor of this champ for champion belt title is Restaurant Cantina Mexicana Ljubljana. We shall introduce in a blue corner, 23 years, 84 kilos, 180 centimeters, six wins, zero loss. Coming from Serbia, Bojan Velichkovic. In the red corner, 23 years, 84 kilos, 185 centimeters, 11 wins, 4 losses. The champion of the WFC coming from Bulgaria, Svetlozar Savo. Here we come, guys. So, Savov from Bulgaria in the red corner. Protect yourself at all times. Velicevic from Serbia Keep the fight away from in the blue. And this is going to be a real tussle. Both very technical fighters, both very capable, both spent time in the States at the best training gyms available. They fought the best European opponents. And it's going to be an all out clash. Savov, rangy fighter, comes in behind the right. Velicevic fights southpaw. Has good, good stand-up skills. KO'd his opponent in the States. In 1 minute 47, Savov goes for the shoot. Can he get the takedown on the single? He does. Savov. Holds it. Velicevic has the leg. Savov very quick to realize that that wasn't good. Velicevic in the mount position now. And thrown by Savov brilliantly. Savov in open guard, and you've got to have to watch very carefully here as this game of physical chess uh, unfolds. Very technical, very talented, both fighters. They're young, they're fast. And this is going to be MMA at the cutting edge. So a restart call by... Referee Grant Waterman. So, Veletovic tries to get away with butterfly guard, but it was an open guard. And there's the ground and pound from Zavov. Veletovic, really, really tricky customer. Zavov having to work. As I said, Rojan Velecevic went out to the States, took on Jason Lee, took him out in the first minute and a half of the first round with a KO. He's causing problems here for Savov. Closed the guard and he's locked Savov in. Savov complaining just a little bit there that the hands of Velecevic are the wrong side of the rule system. Butterfly guard, Velecevic just holding the progress of Savov in his title defense. Keep 
Slavov driving through, trying to pass that guard. Trying desperately. And he's done it. It's a half guard. He's expended a lot of energy doing. Both legs locked on. Well, he's got a choke on now, and Slavov could do this. He's in submission territory. Savov has the choke. Savov really pressuring. Velotovic slips. And Savov has come to do business here. Being held in half guard. Savov tries to pull the arm out for a bar. Miscalculates. And pulls Velechevich in. It's an open guard. And Savov tries to spin to pull the arm through. And Velechevich has the mount position. Savov desperately holding on, trying to close him down. Velechevich not being able to do anything here. Savov very cleverly hugging in close. Trying to get the ground and pound to work, but Savov not giving him the room. There's the bell. So the corner working on Svetlozar Savov. An absolutely brutalizing round. Just looking at the replay, all the opportunities that were available all missed just by a millisecond or a centimetre miscalculation. Well, this always purported to be the best and most technical MMA fight of the evening. Savov may have to rethink the strategy here. Big high kick there from Velechovic. Velechovic looking strong. Savov goes for the single leg takedown, he gets it, takes a kick on the way in, but he's got the takedown, but he's walked into a guillotine. Velechevich has the choke, he's trying to put the pressure on. Savov holding, but he's got the choke on in place. And Savov incredibly holding on here. That guillotine choke in place. Velechovic has to release. But Savov has the reverse on. But Savov this time with the choke. And he has to release. Well, a technical game of cat and mouse. And the nuances on the inside here. So minute, one tightening of a muscle group. There's a difference between being on and being off. So, Savov going for the full mount, couldn't do it, but he's got a leg round. Could be a triangle here. Just couldn't get it round in time. Velocevic looking to punish Savov. 
Savov throws it. Savov has an arm. And he has the guillotine now. Savov trying to work out his options here. A widespread from Savov. Just trying to get round the back here. Savov misses the opportunity for the rear mount. Milosevic closes the guard. Let's go. Let's go. In his guard. Restart. For Savov in the guard of Velocevic. Just under two minutes left. Svetlazar Savov trying to power through to get some ground and pound going. Guard closed very tightly. Savov trying to power through, and the spread and the energy as he thrust forward. This is allowing Velechevich to rest. Okay, stop. stop Velechevich targeting the ear of Savov. Let's go. Let's go. Let's fight. So a restart in the startup. And this time, Velochevic goes for a body slam. And gets the mount. But Savov throws in brilliantly. And Savov gets the controlling Come position. Center. Come to the centre. Let's go. This right here, right there, right here. Come here now. Let's go. Over here now. Right, these guys. Let's fight. Grant Waterman has seriously take control of proceedings. So 10 second clapper. So we're going to see nothing meaningful now before the end of this round. Well, a real war of attrition between these two fighters. So in the slow-mo, we get a chance to revisit it. Every nuance was advantaged by each fighter. This third and final round is going to be an absolute desperate rush to try and get the edge here. It would be very difficult to score this. So the third and final round here tonight at WFC 17. Svet Lozar Savov of Bulgaria takes on Bojan Velechovic of Serbia in defense of his title. Single leg takedown. Savov being held in a guillotine. It's released. And he's trying to drive through now. Trying to drive through the guard of Velechovic. Both these fighters have trained in the States with two of the top teams. And look at this. Savov tries to go over, but he's now on a rear mount. Can he advantage himself here? 
Milecevic controlling the arm of Savov. Savov has to settle back to go into the open guard. And the technicality involved here is at the highest level. This is a real, real demonstration of skills. Well, if you're watching on our live feed, just to remind you that on the 2nd of November, the highest level of MMA will be coming to Abu Dhabi live. The Abu Dhabi Warriors on the 2nd of November. All the information is available on abudabiwarriors.com. That's November the 2nd at the Adnik Exhibition Centre. Well, meanwhile, back to the action. Savov has a guillotine. He's got the leverage. He's got the spread. But he hasn't got the grip and the face of Bojan Velecevic says it all after being released. Same position. Same position. Let's go. So as I said, That's it. That's it. Abu Dhabi Warriors, 2nd of November. Exhibition Center in Abu Dhabi, the Adnex Center, hosting the inaugural MMA event. I shall be there. I hope you join me. Meanwhile, back to the action here. We've got under two minutes left in this third and final round. Svetlozar Savov. Bojan Velecevic, and it's been a war of attrition between these two fighters. And just the sheer effort, the sheer energy involved in trying to get some purchase. Unbelievable. Savov rolls out, then Velecevic. The level of skill here is just stellar. So from side control, can Savov make something of this? Svetlazar Savov, of course, trained with one of WFC's greatest champions and uh, one of Bulgaria's greatest sons, Lubomir Gwejev. Lubomir himself, a former WFC champion. And Svetlazar Savov, protege of Gwejev. So from that top position, can Savov do anything? The clock's ticking away. He's been the aggressor all the way through, Savov. He's really tried to bring some edge to this. Velocevic, happy to stop working and hold the guard position. It's been Savov who's been hungry here. The 10 second clap has gone, there's the bell, and that's the end. What an incredible, incredible challenge. But uh, I think we'd have to agree that the aggressor here tonight, the technician, has been the reigning champion, Svetlozar Savov. Well, this is MMA right at the coalface. Unbelievable performance from both fighters. But Savov, well, showing what a champion is made of. And that extra effort, that extra ability to pull a rabbit out of a hat has made the difference here tonight. 
huge performance, absolutely huge performance. Well, there's got to be a winner. Let's wait to see what the official verdict is. And but I don't think there's any prizes for guessing that it goes to the champion. Middleweight champion or one of the best world organization, WFC. The middleweight champion is Steel Sweatos or Savo. By majority decision of three judges. Well, all throughout, Savov worked. He really pushed and he put what was a very, very convincing opponent on the back foot. Bojan Velicovic, really not to be underestimated here, but uh, you have to give it to the defending champion and still. A champion, Svetlozar Sabo.